top 26 fights, 24 KOs against Santiago Valdez out of Indianapolis, a young man who had stunned the boxing world with a second round knockout of Johnny Turner, fourth rated at the time. This was first round action. Immediately, Hearn seeking to use the long jab. Awesome in its reach, as I said, and awesome in its power. A polished boxer. Got the right in and another right. Got Valdez off balance, as you saw. But Valdez, an aggressive youngster, terribly game, terribly unafraid, fought back. Joey Curtis of Nevada was the third man in the ring. A wild swing up was young Valdez. As a result, he was susceptible to losing his balance. See the way, that was a slip. That's what I meant by losing his balance or being susceptible to it. Fight resumed. Burns looking for a spot, looking to set San Diego Valdez up. Valdez with a wild right that missed. And another. That time had elapsed up till that point. Minute 20 left in the first round and counting down. Burns with that long reach was stalking the opponent. Another wild right by Valdez. Turns okay. up till that point, while he had scored with two quick rights early and a good left, had not been able to put Valdez down. Oh, a good right by Valdez made Hearns mad at that point, as you can see. And quickly, Hearns attacked with both hands. And it was finally a right that put Valdez down for the first time in the fight. The Valdez right had gotten through and had stung Hearns and had made him angry. Then Hearns quickly returned to the wars, and you see him connecting with lefts and rights. Valdez, as gutsy a kid as you would have wanted to see, kept fighting. But finally, after that barrage of blows, Valdez went down. Look at him there. He was groggy, groggy against the ropes. He was glassy-eyed, and Curtis did the right thing. It was a first-round TKO for Thomas Hearns.